Count is now up to 22, and it could go even higher, right? That's right, Joanne and Stephen. That's because police are now getting calls from people. We've seen this the last couple of days, including Commerce Township, where somebody says, I think I was shot. They got a call from someone in Perry saying, I think I was shot at on Thursday night. And just today, police verifying that is indeed the case. A shot fired uh, that penetrated the automobile and... Um, the village Perry took that report. This is ground zero for the task force with some 30 officers from here in Wixom to Lansing, local, state, and feds. The biggest development, this composite of the shooter, a younger white male, 20s or 30s, with short hair, driving a dark-colored older model car, possibly a Toyota or Oldsmobile. Beyond that, cops do not want to discuss more about the profile they've drawn of the gunman. They believe he's acted alone in just those two days last week, and he may be upset about a job or a personal relationship. It's hard to say what types of circumstances encourage someone to take a firearm and shoot it at a moving vehicle, particularly if, if, if they're in a moving vehicle. Life has not returned to normal in Wixom, the Walled Lake Schools. Five buildings remain as a shelter in place, with police on site, doors locked, and kids kept indoors all day. There's no quit here. This is, this is unconscionable in my opinion, okay? And this is still their best lead, this sketch they developed over the weekend from someone who was shot at in Weberville. They put this out yesterday. They are getting a lot of calls, and they say they will not quit on this case. They want you to call in if you know anything about a person who looks like this. The best way to do that is to call Crime Stoppers 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Joanne, Stephen? It has been a couple days now, Jim, right since he did this, you said, since last week. Perhaps he's laying low with all this media attention. That could very well be, be the case, but they think that they still might have that one tipster who can help locate this guy, and that's why the chief said they're going to continue this investigation with this task force in the foreseeable future. Yeah,